So the topic of this meeting is the impact of recession on well-being and how well our well-being metrics and statistics are able to capture the effect of re recessions in people's lives. And our session is really looking at measures of well-being. And in, in 1993, Amartya Thiessen, writing on recession and economic regression, asked four pertinent questions which I am discussing. One is, what are the appropriate focal variables for assessing a recession? Should it simply be the size of the economy or the extent of unemployment? Or should the focal variables also include other aspects of people's lives, like, in his case, under five mortality, or in Europe, other dimensions of well-being? such as health or education or safety or housing indicators, because these really do impact people's lives. You can imagine two similar situations. In one, the, the social community, the social capital is very high, and so despite a recession, there are parties, there is support for one another. And you can imagine a second session in which there is anger, there is bitterness, and a breakdown of society. Those two differences might not be caught in our traditional economic indicators. A second question is, are the indicators of well-being impacted only in the short term? Is it a matter of tightening your belt and moving on? Or do they have a long-term tail, which is important either for that individual in their own life or for the society in which they are a productive worker? A third aspect is, what is the unit of analysis? Should we only look at the country and indicators at that level? Or shall we look by gender, by age, by occupational group, by ethnic group, and try to see the differential impacts of recession and who they are striking? And the final question is, in a sense, how do we make this relevant for policy? How do we make well-being measures that policymakers can act on? And in our world, that means making measures that can be decomposed to show the different dimensions of well-being, how they are moving uh, in different ways for different groups. So that's a little bit of what we'll be talking about, just to try to complement the indicators of income and unemployment and happiness that are important with other dimensions of well-being that rest in the space of functionings. Thank you.